The exterior of the new Click is beefier than ever before, but it retains a lot of the traits that made the nameplate so successful. For one, Honda was able to keep the flat foot area of the scooter, giving it a touch of convenience and functionality. Still, however, the foot well of the new Click is about the same area as the old model which leaves something to be desired for riders about 170 centimeters and up. For shorter riders, however, you'll click right in. Honda also bragged about how the Click gained a bit of mass since its last iteration. Now, stacking it up against the Yamaha Mio Aerox 155 makes sense. The extra bulk is also made it to a fresh coat of paint, which the Click wears without decals. Since Honda opted to remove the decals, it makes for a clean look all around. For its segment, the Click is quite competitive. While Honda is missing some more advanced features, everything you need is there from the keyless ignition system to the USB charger. You also get some sizable storage under the seat, but it's unfortunately still not enough for a full-face street helmet. Perhaps a half-face would fit, but we didn't have an open-face lid with us to test it out. Following that, you get an all-digital gauge cluster that shows you everything you need to know from your engine speed, to your actual speed, and to your fuel level. Speaking of fuel, the Click is set to average close to 50 km per liter, as per Honda's findings. We'd like to see this happen in the real world. Perhaps the idling start-stop system helps a ton with fuel savings, especially at stoplights. The Click 160 backs up its sporty looks with some nimble handling. The additional torque that the new motor provides can be an indispensable tool when navigating through city traffic. The engine doesn't have to work as hard in the lower RPM range in order to get going, and it's a remarkable improvement from the old model. From a dead stop, the Click 160s can get going faster than its predecessor and Honda mentions that it may not be as powerful as some of its rivals. The Click feels especially light to maneuver. Doing tight turns is no problem for the model, and it's easy to lean into a corner with its low center of gravity and its smooth but peppy power delivery. Even with the added power and torque, the ride is still smooth and power can be rolled on precisely just like the previous model.